everyone, my name is Jessie Jennings and welcome back to our 2023 new product showcase. All week we've been talking all about our brand new products that we've launched um, this year in 2023. We've talked a lot about folk art and we're gonna continue talking about folk art today, but make sure to stick around because we have lots of other brands to um, showcase this week like Apple Barrel, new surfaces, Bucilla, so much more to learn about. So today in the studio we have Kira Ballantyne and she's gonna be talking about all of our brand new folk art color trends this year. So we have several beautiful new colors that we've released in the folk art line in our matte acrylics, as well as our chalk paints. And she's gonna be showing um, the inspiration behind those colors. But really quick, I wanna remind you guys that we are having a sale this week on platonline.com. So make sure to check that out because if you purchase $70 or more worth of our new products that we're discussing, you get 30% off. So that's a really great way to snag some of this new product that we're talking about. Um, so guys, make sure to check out that sale, um, check out all of our new products, and I'm gonna pass it over to Kira. Hi everyone. Um, welcome to New Product Showcase. Like Jesse said, I'm gonna be walking you through our color trends and our new colors in our folk art line. So these are brand new colors for this year. And I'm really excited to show you those and the trends and the work that goes behind them. And then we're also gonna be talking about Invisible Glow Stardust. So two really fun products. So Folk Art is our flagship brand, one of our flagship brands, and it is, you know, the trusted superior quality in an acrylic paint. It has a matte finish. And, you know, just when I think that we have enough colors and there are no more colors to be had, our amazing trend and design team does research and that they spend hours and hours coming up with what are what is going to be trending what are the latest trends in everything from home decor interiors fashion the environment social um, and craft and diy and they create these amazing color stories and then create these colors of paint to go with it so that you can have them to bring them into your crafts and all your DIY. So again, we've got over hundreds of colors in our folk art line and these are brand new we're gonna show you today for this year. So you don't have these yet, you need them in your life. Um, they are beautiful shades and they've got great trend and, you know, that really um, ground them. And there's, you know, a reason to have these in your craft room and to stock your um, craft supplies with them. So these are, um, we have three color stories I'm going to be talking about. So, and we've got these great boards. So this just shows you a tiny, tiny snippet of the research that the team does um, to create these palettes. So the first one is Pastel Paradise. So this is all about pastels combined with lighthearted brights. Um, it's joyful, it's happy, it's uplifting. We have been seeing pastels across the board, again, in home decor and fashion and trend and DIY this entire year, and it's continuing. So I love this, um, but it's a fresh take on it, and it's perfect for crafting and for all your DIYs if you're a maker or a crafter. And it's not just for spring anymore. That's the thing about pastels. You'll see um, a lot of our content we have coming out this year for fall and Halloween we've been working on are pastels. So there's a way to use them year round, which I love. Um, so this is just the trend inspiration again. And then these are the colors that support that. So these are brand new colors, like I said, that you're gonna wanna grab. So, and Jesse mentioned there is a sale on platonline.com. So if you spend $70, you get 30% off site wide. So you wanna throw all these colors in your cart um, when you're done. So I wanna show you here, I'm gonna slide this over. So the ones that support really the pastel paradise and give you that feel, and they all work so well together. Um, this is Hazy Horizon. So this is a beautiful dusty blue. We have or Orchard Wisp, Orchid Wisp. So this is a beautiful purple. I love that one. Me too. I'm gonna pour them out so you guys can see them okay. too. Oh, great. Um, gray Frost. Again, oh, we have grays, but this is a new, cooler, crisper gray, which I love. We have, I'm going backwards here, Green Whisper. So again, look, and you can just see, I love how these relate. Again, all the trend and the thought goes into this and how this just works beautiful with the color palette and they all work together. And of course we have other colors in the folk art line that complete this, but these are new ones that you'll wanna add. Then we've got this um, really beautiful sand dollar. And this is just a really like creamy, 
um, like almost like a, a linen and off white, but it's like a really creamy, rich color. So that is just the folk art acrylic matte paint. I want to show you um, real quick. If you're not familiar with folk art or you haven't had a bottle in a while, I just want to show you the quality. So this is a matte finish. It is super creamy, premium quality. It's also made here in the USA, which I love. Like, I don't know if we talk about that enough sometimes. Like, we're so proud that we mm -hmm. make it actually right here in Atlanta, Georgia. So our folk art is made right here. It's rich and creamy. And you can see when it comes out of the bottle, the quality of that. It's like, this is just a beautiful, you know, you're going to paint something even better with it. But it's so rich and creamy. It's got great coverage. Um, it works on a multitude of surfaces. So it's great for canvas, for wood, for terracotta. For, you know, you can paint on glass for decorative use. Um, you can paint on paper mache. So a lot of really great surfaces. Wood, I just want to show you. I'm using a folk art brush and just want to show you that coverage and look how creamy and beautiful. That is one coat. And I do love that color, Jesse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's definitely one of my favorites of the new palette. So, so beautiful. And it just glides on. I don't know if you can tell on camera. It just yeah, it glides looks great. on so smooth. That is one coat. And, you know, that's a light color. So it's not that um, it's like a really dark cover color that would have a ton of coverage, you know, typically. But this is a light color and you still have all that beautiful coverage. So here's this green. Look at that. It's so mm, pretty. That's pretty, too. Yeah. And they all work so well together. And again, you can carry these. It's not just for spring. You know, I know we're summer, so use these summer, use these fall, add accents. You can add metallics to accent for, you know, the fall and the holidays with these. So I just okay. wanted to show you just how beautiful those are. And those will dry. That's just one coat. Those are going to dry to a really beautiful matte finish. Mm -hmm. So along with this pastel paradise, um, we have folk art home decor chalk. So this is an ultra matte acrylic paint. So if we want to talk levels of matteness, I guess, um, <laughs> folk art matte, and then this is an ultra matte. So this is even going to dry more flat, more matte. And this chalk paint um, is, again, one of our, part of our flagship folk art brands. And it is great for home decor, for, flip, for flipping furniture, DIYs. It is one step, no prep. You just have to make sure that you start with a clean, dry surface. Um, you can put it on furniture, on chairs, on, you can use it on canvas. You can use it on a number of surfaces also. You can layer and distress it, which is really beautiful. Um, it's got so many great uses, but it is home decor chalk. And we've got two great new colors um, to expand the line. So we've got foggy and pleasant pink. So again, how these just all work together to tell the story. So if you wanted to do a revamp and add some pastels to your pieces, you could do the folk art mat, but then if you wanted to do a piece of furniture, these are great neutrals to kind of ground that. And these are great for home decor. So definitely check these out if you're not familiar with the chalk, home decor chalk, but beautiful colors. Again, pleasant pink and foggy and just a beautiful gray and a beautiful, beautiful light pink. I love those. Yeah. Kira, we've been talking a lot about with our new specialties in the folk art line, how transformative they are. And that's what I think of when I think of our folk art home decor chalk paint too. It's yep. great for upcycling. You can just yep. take an old piece of furniture and make it absolutely beautiful and new. Right, absolutely. And the fact that it's so easy to use, mm -hmm. it is really like foolproof. It's one step, no prep. So, you know, there's no harsh chemicals. It is, again, made here in the USA. You can just clean your piece of furniture. You can layer over paint. You can lay over a raw piece of furniture also, and it works great. I love that. And you could use them together if you wanted to do something in chalk and then take your folk art mat and add accents, it works. Yeah, absolutely. I love that. That's a great okay. idea. So our second color story is Artisan Discovery. So this one is a richer. Um, so this is new creative voices come from arts and craft movements around the world to inspire this rustic and sleek palette. So it's expressive, it's creative, it's genuine, it's global. So these are richer jewel tones. They're deeper. Um, and it is all that grounded in our history of craft and arts. And it's that maker, it's the, the artist, and it's these beautiful, um, almost like these textures gave way to these colors. So again, you can see the inspiration. And then this, I'm going to move these pastels down here so I can slide over this palette. So again, we've got our folk art. So can you guys see that? A lot mm -hmm. of shifting here. This table is tiny. Okay. <laughs> So we've got these beautiful jewel tones, and then we also have our home decor chalk we'll talk about. 
So these colors are, again, you can see the difference between the pastels. These are deeper, richer, Blue Odyssey, Newport Blue. Um, I love this green, Deep Viridian, and um, Empress Teal. And again, they are just beautiful colors. Mm, that so teal is look stunning. At that. It's so pretty. And look how thick and creamy that is. It's really beautiful. Um, I'll go ahead and wow. squirt it out here. And again, you know, we talked about pastel being for all year round. Again, these colors are great for all year round. And if you want to be more traditional and you're getting into those kind of fall colors and crafting, these are really beautiful. Um, those are great together, those blue tones. Yeah, absolutely. So look at this. It's so pretty. Oh, my brush is working. Here we go. So look at that. That is so beautiful. Yeah, that looks great on camera. You can see how thick and creamy it is. Yeah. And then this green. So again, I've got greens. I've got Kelly green, lime green, grass green. These are new shades I created to support this line, which are so beautiful. So look at that. I yeah. love this green. Again, isn't this a great take even for Christmas or even how the pastels and these jewel tones work together so you can mix and match. You don't just have to craft with one, but we make it easy if you want to stick to that color palette. They really do look really They've beautiful been curated. on the canvas together. Again, um, the trend team and Alice, they do such an amazing job of curating these colors for everyone. And then we also have um, in this line, we've got Mango Mambo. So this is just a really beautiful yellow, kind of like a, a brighter mustard color. And then we have, um, again, our neutrals, because neutrals are really important and they ground all the brights. We've got smoke screen and coffee grounds. And again, I love the names. Mm -hmm. But again, this is completely different than the other gray. This is a warmer, richer gray. The other one was cooler. And then this brown is really beautiful coffee grounds. So it's just the most beautiful. It looks like chocolate almost. I know mm. the name's coffee, but it just looks like thick, like creamy milk chocolate. And it is beautiful. Um, and, you know, when browns are coming, gray was such a thing and everyone was gray. And yeah. I think we're still supporting that, but grays are getting warmer and we've mm -hmm. got browns now too that are coming back. Definitely. So always thinking about what's next so you're prepared. So we've got these folk art mats. These all come in the two ounce bottle. And then for the folk art home decor chalk, we have three colors. We have got fired clay. We've got cobblestone and mellow mocha so we're sticking with the coffee and mocha but these are beautiful this fired clay it's that terracotta look it's really earthy um goes well with all these more like deep rich colors we've got cobblestone and then mocha so again so beautiful for home decor and they work all together so well again this is going to be the ultra matte finish I love those. Yeah. Really quick while we're still on the Artisan palette, can you repeat the names um, of the greens again? Yeah. Yep. Thank These you. are beautiful. So this is Empress Teal. So it's a really deep, rich teal. And then this one, my favorite, Deep Viridian. So it is a, it's brighter than the teal. It's more of a true green, but it's still very rich. Like mm. I think that's something about this palette. They're really rich and deep and like luxurious. So it's really beautiful. Thank you. So Deep Viridian and Empress Teal. So those are two. And again, I kind of like how these all work together. So you can mix the pastels. Like that's thought when they're, you know, curating these palettes for everyone that, you know, that you can use them all together. People are loving the color names too. I know, I know, <laughs> right? They're very fresh and fun. Mm -hmm. Blue Odyssey, uh, Newport Blue, Smoke Screen. I love that one. Mm -hmm. It's really fun. Okay, and then we've got one more color palette for folk art, which is new for 2023. And again, oh, I have green, I have blue, I have that. You don't have these colors, these are brand new. They're so exciting, <laughs> which I love that we can literally say these are new colors to our line. And you know, the brand has been around for so long and it is our flagship that we are still able to bring you new and exciting colors, which is really fun. Jill said her wish list is keeps getting bigger Yay, this week. Yay, <laughs> we'll use the sale, 30% off. Yep. <laughs> Okay, so the last one is Tropic Breeze. Now I know it's August and everyone's kind of stuck in that. It's summer, it's back to school, it's Halloween. But this Tropic Breeze, even though it was inspired by um, 
you know, a lot of like beach images and that whole feeling. It's refreshed palette. It's easy. It's breezy. It's optimistic. So I think that's something also. It's relaxing, restorative. I think that is something all year that we all need. So these colors bring that. Um, so this is the inspiration. So it's not just beach, but it is, you know, leans towards that like really um, beautiful like tropical teals and coral colors, a lot of blues. Um, so that's this palette. And let me slide these colors over. Those are so fun. So fun. I love the coral. Okay. So for the folk art matte, we have uh, creamy coral, peach breeze, earthy ochre, watery blue. These are fun names and blue hyacinth. So again, these just like emulate that, that relaxing, that refreshing, that really calm. If you're doing a space for yourself, you want to, you know, upcycle some vases or redo a space that's just for you and you want to be really calm. These are great colors to have. So I just want to show you, this is this watery blue. So again, look how beautiful, thick and creamy. Um, I'll just keep painting on this beautiful piece of canvas that I'm doing, but look at that coverage. It's so pretty. And again, they all work together, but you can use them individually. Yeah. So that blue is really pretty. It looks great. Yeah. And then we have, this is blue hyacinth and how different they are and how they work together. Look at that. I'm just put them. I love that. It's like, a, that. It's like so a light periwinkle. Pretty. Yes. I yes. I love that. Actually, it's so pretty. I love it with the teal and the green too. Mm -hmm. And then I know coral is one of our favorite. We always use it. It's fire coral or crushed coral typically is what we lean towards when yep. we're crafting. Um, here in the craft room, that's Peach Breeze. But this is a new coral, so I'm really excited about this one. Creamy coral. Whoops, creamy coral. I love that one. I love a coral yeah, color though. Absolutely. Okay, let's see if I can get it on here. Look at that. It is really creamy. It is like literally like butter going on the canvas. And mm. I'm not like, it is so smooth. One coat, look at that. It is so pretty. So again, that's great for spring, summer, fall, Christmas. It's really gorgeous. So that's creamy coral. And then we have um, two chalk colors in this. We've got cashmere and sea haze. So again, just another really beautiful neutral color. Um, this is a, this would be great for furniture, like I said, for the home decor chalk, for upcycling, cashmere, it's just a really great neutral. It's a very, very warm um, neutral. And then we also have sea haze, which this, let's see if the, let me show you guys this color. It's really pretty. I haven't shown you any of the folk art home decor chalk. Let's see if I can open this without making a mess. While you're opening that, we have a quick yeah. question, Kira. Um, Jane asked if these are available in a set. Um, they are not available in a set, but you can put them all in your cart as a sock bundle. Yeah. So if you go to quadonline.com slash new, then you're going to be taken to the landing page. And we've made it real easy for you. If you just go there and you click on folk art, it's going to list all these new colors and you can pop them right in your cart. So it'll make it really, really easy. Perfect. So Thanks. definitely check out that website so you're not searching on Plot Online and what was that color? I didn't write it down. Go to our brand new um, pro new product showcase landing page, and we've made it really easy to select all those colors right from there. Perfect. Thanks, Kira. Yeah. Okay, and then I just want to show you this chalk paint. So the chalk paint is also it is now it's going to be it's thicker than the folk art paint. Um, it just has a little bit different consistency. Again, great coverage, one step, no prep. It's gonna dry to an ultra matte finish. Again, it goes on smooth. You can use it on canvas, you can use it on wood, but this is great for upcycling furniture. And this is um, sea haze. And just look at that beautiful mm. blue gray. Again, that works so well with all these colors. So I love that they're individual and they were definitely inspired by, you know, artisan and beach and pastels that are trending, but they all were curated so that they work, you know, so well together. And just a reminder, guys, everybody's saying they wish everything we talked about were bundles. <laughs> so oh, I know. <laughs> okay. Next year. Yeah. 2024, we're bundling for you. Yes. So you can go to platonline.com slash new, and these are all on that page. So you can see everything we're talking about and just add them all to your cart at once. So you don't yeah. need to worry about that. We've made it super easy for you. Yep. Yep. 
We love that you want to buy them all. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, if you just click on folk art, so when you go to the page, um, it will drop you down and you'll see all these new colors listed for you. So, and if you, again, if you have questions, like what was that color, like leave a message and mm -hmm. are on Facebook, even after the video, when you go to shop and someone from our social team, um, will definitely answer you and help you out. We're here to help. And we love to hear from you what you're buying. So if you have a question or you can't remember a color, just let us know and we'll help you for sure. Definitely. Okay. So I'm going to switch gears, um, completely essentially <laughs> from color. Um, to glow. So also in the folk art um, line, which folk art is so extensive, mm -hmm. um, like I said, one of our flagship brands and just the quality and the range that we have in folk art. Um, this one's really fun and exciting, especially this time of year. So it's Invisible Glow Stardust. So we have a wide range of folk art. Um, we've got glow in the dark. We've got neons. Um, black light. So a lot of really fun things, especially, you know, if you're having a party or it is, you know, a holiday or Halloween. So we have a brand new um, addition to the line. It's Invisible Glow Stardust. So what does that mean? <laughs> so this is, it is a top coat that it can be used over, you know, a multitude of surfaces. And I'm going to show you a lot of great examples. It comes out of the bottle milky. So can you see that? It comes out of the bottle milky. I yep. feel like that's the best way to show it. I'll put it out on a plate too here. Um, comes in a two ounce bottle. Comes out clear. Oh, the cap has the little lid stuck in it. So it comes out Oops. clear like that, but it is going to, it comes out milky, it's going to dry clear, but it has texture in it. So it almost has like a glow in the dark glitter. It is a light texture. So I don't know if you can see that on this. So this was a dark canvas. It goes on milky, it will dry clear. And then you have these just little glow particles. So I'll show you. It really is like glow glitter. It's so fun. Yeah, so it'll dry, come on milky. Yes, it is like glow in the dark glitter which is so fun. So it will dry clear and then you'll have these little pieces of texture and they gave me all the power in here and I can turn the lights, <laughs> turn the lights off in the studio. So I hope you can see that. Now there's still a lot of lights going on in the studio, so we're not gonna get that full effect, but you charge it like our other glow paints, you charge it either in the sunlight or indoor light works, charge it up and then it's going to glow. And I have a black light to kind of help it along since it is so bright in the studio here. But you can see, I hope that's showing you. Yeah, that. yeah, that looks great. It glows. So it glows to like a neutral green. Mm -hmm. So it glows on clear. So this is still drying. But when it dries, you're going to get these little textures. So that's so fun. There it looks we go. just like stars. Yeah, so it, it gave it a good charge. So mm -hmm. I'm hoping that, look at that. Perfect. That's oh, so yay, pretty. Oh, yeah, it worked. Okay. Not that it doesn't work, but it's so hard in here. With I know the it's really light in here still. So this is helping giving it a super charge. You can see it perfectly. Yeah. So look at that texture. So daylight, it looks like nothing. And then all you do is add this and it looks like you have created the night sky. It's amazing. People are loving this Kira. It looks so good. So this is just a black light so we can cheat here. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. So goes on milky, dries clear, and then when it glows, you get this beautiful texture. That's so pretty. Yeah, so let me turn, well here, I'll show you where the lights are off. So this is a mason jar and just some cute little pom-poms. So let me get a charge here. So you can see this is just a typical mason jar and then look how that glows. Mm -hmm. So what if you did these all like on your porch or Ooh. for, you know, lined a walkway? These would be so fun for Halloween, for a wedding. You yeah. could do these even like in the evening out by your pool. And again, this is just mason jar. Now you can base coat this and I'll show you how easy, but you can base coat this mason jar or add patterns, but then just apply this over it. And then look at that glow you're going to get. And it's just this really fun, like twinkle light fairy. You know, it's clear in the daylight, it glows in the dark, it's a top coat, goes on milky, dries clear, and you get this beautiful glowing glitter effect. It's like twinkling lights almost that you're painting on, which I love. Beautiful. Indoor, outdoor, and you can charge it indoor um, or outside. Um, mm -hmm. I wanna show you again, getting into spooky season. So this is just a one of those pumpkins. So you could use this on real pumpkins or fake pumpkins. I'm gonna give this a charge real quick. And look at that. People are mentioning Halloween in the comments, oh so they're my really gosh. excited. Amazing. 
So look, if you had all these, are so fun. So, so, so cute. Yep, I love it so much. Um, great for rocks, even because it is indoor, outdoor. So I'm gonna turn the light back on here. Okay, Whew, did it. <laughs> um, so again, it comes out, it's thick and creamy, it is clear, it has the particles in it. And these are just some rocks that we did um, with our, you know, you could use glow in the dark or neon, we painted these. But then if you just do this as a top coat to your rock, again, we'll go on milky. And you're still gonna, because it just glows to that like really neutral green, you're gonna really see that color underneath. So you're not gonna lose that. So it's still gonna have that really bright, vibrant look. So let's do a good coat on that. And then you're gonna get, um, let that charge and get that glow. So you can see just how awesome it glows. So let Ooh. that dry and then you'd have to charge it. But again, great for parties, great for rooms, like for a kid's room, a teen's room, holidays, Halloween, it's so fun. Again, I just love, love, love this on the painting. So I wanna show you guys again how fun this is. So just give it a little charge. Um, and look Everyone's fun. saying they're obsessed with the new plaid product. So, yay, we are too. <laughs> we, we are love too, exactly. so much. And I, it's so fun to get to show you guys these things. Mm -hmm. It really so, is. Yeah, so this is Invisible Stardust Glow. Um, and so it, it has um, got the glowing particles in it, you know, it dries clear, but it's going to have like that neutral green, like that typical glow in the dark. Um, but this also, I just want to show you, this isn't new, it's new um, in the past year or so, but this is a great addition to this line for folk art. So we've got invisible glow and these actually go on clear, but they glow the color of the bottle. So you can see this glows blue, glows green, glows green. So again, it is great. Um, if you wanted to add a little more color, it goes on clear. Uh, I love these ones because they're like a secret. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is perfect. So this is um, this already has the invisible glow on it. So I'll show you guys. That's it. I'll just show you on a mason jar here. So just painting on a mason jar, or if you wanted to, pay, you know, paint on a terracotta pot. So it goes on clear, you know, stuff you already have or something you purchase. Even if you buy Halloween decor already and you want to just like add a fun like pop to it, like mm -hmm. take your Halloween stuff you have or, you know, or something that you already have and just add this glow to it. Then I'm going to get this charged. I'm going to show you. It's really hard in the studio. There's so many lights there in is. here. So if you can see that, it glows purple. I can see it really, really well. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it yeah, was, it's gonna glow it. purple. Yeah, glow it is green, glowing already, glow it's blue. not even dry. So it's just, you know, something different that isn't just your typical like, oh, I can only have one color glow. You can definitely get multiple colors. This is a fairy house. So again, this is a trend that we're still seeing. Look, this is the invisible glow stardust on a fairy house that we did. It's just a birdhouse turned it into a fairy house and added the glow to it. Ooh, so, so, so fun, pretty. like little twinkle lights. So really, really fun. I love the invisible glow because it's like, you can have your regular projects you've painted with folk art on your porch and things like that. Yeah. And then when it becomes nighttime, you have this whole different look and it's all the same pieces. I think that's right. so fun. Yeah, it's like that hidden little pop. Like, yeah. It's so fun to come home, you know, and it's evening and your house is all lit up or like right. just a little fun accent. If you have like a sun porch or again, like an outdoor living space, you can see this purple glow any better. It's hard, but it really does. It's really so beautiful. And again, just to have options, right? Like who knew you needed all these glowing colors, but you do. <laughs> so we're talking about the Invisible Glow Stardust, which is the glow in the dark glitter. It's like adding little twinkling lights to all your DIYs. It's great for indoor, outdoor. It, you can use it by itself, like we showed on the mason jar. You can put it over paintings or decor that you already have or something that you know you want to use. Great for parties, great for celebrations. Um, charges indoor and outdoor. Um, it's a great addition if you haven't seen our Invisible Glow, which we have in colors now. So we've got Blue Beam, Purple Pop, and Extreme Green. So these are actually going to go on clear, but they are going to dry and clear. But then when you when you charge them up and they glow, they're actually gonna glow these colors, which is awesome. 
And then again, it just complements our whole line. We've got glow in the dark and neons that are just like really fun that all go, you know, work so well together if you're, you know, into this vibe and it's really fun. And just little accents, like you can see we have the shelf here that the team did. But what if you just had, you know, like a little accent, a glow. So, you know, you mm -hmm. hit your lights and your, you know, your room's glowing or your shelf, a little piece. Great for kids, great for teens. Like if you want to help decorate their room, great for college. Um, it's just a really fun product. Um, but it's like upscale glow in the dark. Like yeah, it is. And again, the amazing quality um, that folk art brings that we can have this range of these beautiful matte colors and ultra matte. And, you know, the team's been showing you sugar metallics and gloss and shiny. And then just to have this really fun glow that we have such a range um, is really exciting. So I love this invisible glow. It's a perfect time. It's kind of fun that new product showcases this late in the year that we can like talk about like, hey, Halloween, this is yep. a good one to get. <laughs> um, really fun. So, um, Jesse, I don't know if you want to wrap it up, if yeah. anybody has questions. Yeah. Um, People are just really excited. There's not a lot of questions. Um, Kayla said it's like a hidden Easter egg in your painting, which it, it really is. is. Oh, you guys should totally do some Easter eggs, though, <laughs> also with Invisible Glow. I now love that. You that. Mention it. A night Easter egg hunt. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That would be so be really fun. fun. For, like, the older kids. Yeah. That's a great idea. Or adults. It's fine. Yeah, true. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks so much, Kira. Um, we had so much fun hearing all about our, our brand new folk art colors and all of our glow formulas um, that was really inspiring I know everybody in the chat is super excited to snag some of these products so um, again guys we are here all week long um, we have lots more brands to talk about lots more new products that we want to share with you um, we have a sale going on on platonline.com if you want to purchase some of these formulas that we've shared um, if you go to platonline.com slash new you can get 30% off of $70 or more so now is a great time whether it's let's paint kits or our brand new folk art colors and um, our invisible glow. There's so many different things to check out. So make sure you check out that sale. Um, and I'm also going to pull a name for a winner of this session who's gonna receive a bundle of our brand new products. So the winner of this session is, hang on, I wrote it down. The winner is, oh my gosh, Jane Crossley. So congratulations, Jane. You have won a bundle of our brand new product that we've talked about this week and are going to talk about um, so please send us a direct message on Facebook so we can get your information and we can get you some fun new um, products in the mail. This afternoon, we'll be back at 3 p.m. with Dylan Estes to find out some more about um, our brand new Drizzle tools. So if you haven't heard of Drizzle, make sure to check that out. It's a really fun paint pour line that we have under the Folk Art brand. And this year we have some really um, unique and fun tools to use with your Drizzle paint. So we'll see you at 3 p.m. Bye, guys.